Here I have natural history illustration in pen and ink, combining science with art and journey through nature with Sarah Morrish. Now when this book was published in 2021, it immediately went on my list of books I must have because I love natural history, I love illustration and I love pen and ink. And the cover picture, the cover illustration is really beautiful and if you have a lovely cover on a book, it makes you want to look inside and see a little bit more. So th there are not that many great books on pen and ink, but I am showing you this one because I think it is beautiful. We have some lovely illustrations. We have photographs to back up our illustrations and the thought that has gone into the contents, I think is absolutely outstanding. We have introduction subject matter and reference material, materials and equipment, the importance of sketchbooks and study pages, mark making techniques and creating form, composition, botanical subjects, strand line and marine discoveries, fossils, insects and other invertebrates, birds, feathers and nests, mammals, combining pen and ink with other media, the protection and presentation of artwork, contributing artists and index so there is a lot of work has gone into this book so we start off with the introduction and here we have something that I haven't really seen in any other book the history and development of ink and pens so we have little history here they went we then have an overview of the step-by-step -step exercises and an overview of the case studies we move on to subject matter and reference material, where to find your natural history specimens, working with the museum natural science collection, some considerations and guidelines. And I'll just mention now there are some images of dead creatures. That is something that if you study um, natural history and you go to museums and things you will see dead creatures I just have to warn you about that but of course it is all part of the actual book it's very important content what to record when working in the field we have advantages and disadvantages of photography and materials and equipment so we have a lovely section here on all the different types of pens and nibs and inks and paper so that's all covered nicely a little bit on setting up your work area making your own ink and then the importance of sketchbooks and study pages and I love to see all these illustrations they're so inspiring really nicely done and we have mark making techniques and creating form now this section can be applied to any subject so this book is such a helpful sounding board for starting out with pen and ink and the things that you learn in here you can later transfer to other subjects and with a really good basis for your starting point. I'm just going to flip through a few pages. We have overcoming challenges with pen and ink. Then we have composition, which of course is always important, whatever type of painting you are doing or drawing. We have botanical subjects. Some step-by-step -step exercises throughout the book. Look at the detail in this, wonderful. So we have case studies as well. Strand line and marine discoveries. It really does have so much packed into this book.
collecting, preserving and positioning challenging subject matter. Some shells, I love shells. And fossils. Now, I have hardly ever seen any information on drawing fossils. Now, I have quite a large fossil collection, so I think this is really interesting. Lovely thick pages on this book. Insects and other invertebrates. Some hawk moths, discover hawk moths. Combining art and conservation. So it is quite a large book and there's lots of pages so I'm just flipping through just to give you an idea how absolutely beautiful this book is and it really is one of my well it just very quickly became one of my absolute favorite books birds feathers and nests you can see it just covers every natural history subject drawing feathers Beautiful photos as well. Mammals. A cute little harvest mouse there. And there's the otter from the front cover, which is really nice that this is included. And a brown hare. A bat. Oh, it's just such a beautiful book. And then we have a lovely section on combining pen and ink with other media. So you can use some watercolour here to liven up your pictures if you want. Different types of paper to use and using coloured pencils. I do love mixed media, but I think I started out with just pen and ink and mixed media has come along for me as I've progressed. The protection and presentation of artwork and that's always really important as well often not included in books and then we have the contributing artist here listed and the index so this i think is such a wonderful book so we can see here it has practical advice detailed instructions subject themed chapters and step-by-step -step exercises and I just think this is such a beautiful pen and ink book. If you're only going to get one book on pen and ink, I think if you love natural history, this is the book to get for you. It's so nice to have the specialist subject. It's so nice to have so many elements included that you would otherwise have to search for individually. And I just think this really is on my top 10 books, on my absolute favourite books.